Hi there, it's Patmos, and well, I believe this is going to be episode 8 or 9. And well, we are actually fighting in Germany. So we survived their attack, and now we are trying to push back. But well, down south in Romania, not doing so well. And supply wise, and I mean supply of equipment not going so well either so well we can be positive but not too positive now let's see how far we can get we were sh last time we were rearranging our troops and that could really help us out here but it might take a little while to rearrange the troops so let's see how that goes in the meantime yeah so now all these panzers and stuff are moving in which is good then I'm gonna let them move south. Hungary is now in the war. But if they can just cut off a big piece here, that would really help. So let's see. Yeah, that's good. Let's get the better logistics. And let's get these guys going. See what they can do. Alright. So yeah, we are on the move. We are doing okay be better but could be worse uh, anyway so let's see should we attack here Will that do any good not really let's just wait would be nice if we could get our panzers all the way down here and just cut him off I don't think we have the troops to make sure of that but well would be nice all right rocketry don't know if I need that Master research, always a good thing to have. All right, these tanks are trying to attack here. Oh, just one motorized division on the attack. That's not very good. Should be doing a better job. And of course, these guys should get in there. And I just think this whole army needs to attack because he is rather weak here. As you can see, all green numbers now, some really high already, so yeah, that really help us out. Put supplies down, but uh, that's okay. Perhaps if we can go even further, we can do really well on taking Germany. But yeah, as you can see, they're doing really well here, which is kind of surprising. I would not have guessed that. Um, yeah, it's a bit early for Normandy, and I guess from all over the world they are sending in troops and actually doing something. But I don't like it because I want to pop a Germany, and to do that we have to actually take Germany. And it's really surprising for me. I didn't know the Allies were up to an attack already. And doing so well. But could also work to my benefit. Because it will slow the German down and you will have to pour out troops here to defend. So it could work in our advantage. But I really don't like it. I would have guessed, because it's still 1942, that the Allies would not have done much. And we could just walk in, get there, and, and take, like, the Netherlands, Belgium, a part of France with the Soviet Union. But as it appears now, why not be sure? But we'll see, because Vichy is fighting back. Join the Axis. This is... yeah, so... And in the Netherlands they're losing, so yeah... Could still go different ways. Let's wait and see. Careful not to be... Not to get into some sort of pincer movement. She just squeezes in and we have a problem. Alright, so... What happens if we just tell them to attack? Well, not that much. Except this is a good number, so... Perhaps 
Perhaps my tanks do need to stop because I'm getting a bit worried. It's getting such a long stretch. I don't like that. How are we doing? Still losing equipment again. Don't need to lose too much. I don't want to lose too much. That's a better way of saying it. There's a lot of troops that don't really know what to do. Should just tell them to attack. The sooner we get through, the better. I don't know, the sooner, the earlier, the faster. English is not my native language, so I'll probably make quite a few mistakes with that, but... You get what I mean. Let's do this. Then, let's focus on... ...getting as many infantry equipment items as we can. Yeah, very good. Well, I guess, oh, we are already taking over factories. That's the thing. That's so a little bit why we... Why it goes the way it goes. Oh, that's interesting. Now, let's destroy this because this is an aggressive attack line. I guess we should do it a bit like this. They spread out a bit. That's for the best. Let's get these guys in. I think I should just get those guys running as well. Come on, let's move. We have him on his toes. Now finish him off. B. What I hope for, anyway. Probably not gonna happen that easy, but we can try. Still seeing a few green numbers here and there, which is really nice. Still keeps a lot of troops here, to my surprise, because I would think he would pull them all out and move in here, but... The well, situation seems to be slowing here. Allies not doing that well. Probably landed, and there was just very low... ...was there, and then... Sudden he pulled in forces and now they're not doing too well. Guess that's what happened. The lower Baltic Sea. Why are we seeing that? I don't want to see the lower Baltic Sea. Alright. They're on the move again. I need these eleven divisions to go there. Can we close this? I mean we trap quite a bit. Very low organization though, so... Mm, not really that good. So very well supplied, but... Probably they are attacking rather aggressively. Yeah. Should set that to... Normal again, because they're a bit too aggressive now. And when they are too aggressive, you will lose... A lot of equipment. Because they will just attack, 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 and not really look at if it's handy or not. And if we slow that down a bit, that could really help. Yep, they're trying to close that pincer. They should go here. They should go down here. Come on. Alright, is he going to pull troops out? Not yet. Well, his problem. I'm just trying to see if we can close the pincer here. Oh, maybe if we can already take this. We already closed down the pincer. Already closed this gap. Go there. Come on. Need to trap some troops. He is trying to pull troops out, of course. That would make sense and would be a smart move. Well. Losing equipment like crazy, but also kind of winning. So, basically, that kind of is what we want to see. Come on, let's go. Close it up. There's 
Still like 10, 15 divisions there, so maybe around 20. Be really nice. Oh, we lost a convoy here. Telling guys really not nice there. No landings though, which is good. Need to keep it that way. Still keeping those troops up there, so we're not going to do anything there. Right, this is good. Now half of them should strike north. Then we should see what happens. Yeah, it appears we closed this gap. Now, let's get in there. Let's attack and destroy. I want all these divisions gone. Come on. Ooh. No, oh, this isn't the best of best computers, so sometimes I think go a little bit slow. Really help that. I'll get a new computer at some point. Not right now, and not today. Well, I think this is kind of a blow for the German. He already lost 2.8 million. Our losses are climbing as well, but we can deal with that. I have no doubt about it. We have plenty of manpower, or at least we should have plenty of manpower. Service by requirement, but not really sure we are actually getting those men. Oh, well, we'll see. For now it's fine, and we're not in a war with, uh, I don't know, the Allies or something, so... It'll all be fine. These divisions will be freed once we destroy these. Twenty-two divisions. Nice. That's what I like. And now he's pulling out troops here. Every here and there he's just pulling out troops. Which is great. We are getting closer and closer to Berlin. Ah, oh, really looking forward to actually moving into Berlin. Give these guys the order. Go, go, go. And then we'll see. Perhaps I should give my armor the order. Put them up here. And give them an order to go to Berlin. We'll see. Well, one of the things we could end up doing is, is going down towards Italy. So we can cut all these forces off. You have the troops to fight all run, so that would be a thing. See? Guess, yeah, we already have a shortage, but that's fine for now. It's not too great. And we, yeah, we can really deal with that. What's this? Not enough manpower? Oh, we have enough manpower, but... It's just growing slow. So I never fought a war in this game with that many casualties on my side. Interesting. Yeah, he's losing a lot of troops. He still manages to hold off the Allies a bit, although, yeah, they could pour in troops. America could do that, and other countries, but... Well, they still manage to hold off. Well, here he has a strong defensive line. So perhaps soon we need to stop again. These guys, for instance, need to stop. They're not doing that well, and they are not that well supplied. They're reorganizing now. They should get in there. These guys should get in there. Take a few provinces, of course. Better for supply. Now, can we do something here? That would be nice. Actually, start moving in here. Let's see, let's go. And of course we want to go to Berlin. That's a big price for now. Alright. Basic Amtrak, yeah that's all fine. Now we could do the T-44. Get an even better tank. This is nice, there's no opposition here anymore, so they can just walk in. Which they should. 
With every province we take, we weaken the Germans, especially if there's factories in there. We are getting really close to Berlin. Now, the thing with Germany is you really have to push in far to actually be able to defeat him and he give up. But, well, for now, looks decent. Oh, that's a bit too far. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to attack there. Still not too smart. Still trying to move on Berlin, of course. Come on, guys, get to Berlin. They are a bit too much spread out now. Told them to spread out all the way there. Just told them to go to Berlin. That's one of the thing with these fronts. They just keep... They take a province and sometimes they just expand a lot. And I don't want those front lines to expand that much. Well, I guess when we take Berlin, which is about to happen, we should just wait a bit. We organize resupply. Not sure. Philippines capitulated, so Japan is still doing a really good job. Which I don't like. Still reorganizing here. Interesting. Not too strong here. What happens if we attack? It's climbing. Good. Check there again. Be the better. Should have the better of him, but doesn't appear so. Oh my, that division is strong. How did it get so strong? I don't know if I ever saw divisions that strong. Now let's see. Sudden thrust. No, we're not gonna do that. Social realism, get some extra uh, political power. Alright, did we take Berlin yet? Yeah. Good. See, that doesn't do much to the German surrender process. Nice to have Berlin, of course, but not that important. Oh, Norway, they are attacking there as well. So perhaps it's a good time to keep those guys going again. So because the other ones are attacking as well, like the Allies, that actually helps us, but still keeping a lot of troops here. Our side, so... Let's check how are we doing now, producing a hell of a lot of infantry equipment and still running a shortage. Well, that's basically the issue you have when you play Soviet Union, I think. I mean, if you have other experiences and never have any problems, let me know. Probably, I'm probably doing a lot wrong anyway. Or at least, not in the smartest way or whatever how you want to name that. Not really a wrong, but just in a way you wouldn't do it. Appeared those were adjacent, but they are not. Dutch East Indies capitulated, which isn't that nice. Dutch Japan gets stronger and stronger. Well, it's not looking that bad, I guess, actually. Oh, we got in here, nice. <laughs> that looks great. Oh, perhaps we can do something there. Now, what does this do? Yeah, la, that's not worth it. What I want to do is get these reserves. Put them in here. And then tell them down there. 
And I'll push this province out. So they'll just go like that. And these will all be surrounded. So they can go. Now let's see. Still no... Um, attacks anywhere. Nice. Ooh, these guys should be up here. Can free or occupy Denmark. Depending on your point of view, of course. Let's keep going. On the way, it's nice. Guess we should focus here. That's where all the fun is happening. Although perhaps I should just tell them to stop. Yep. We should go to the capital. He has some rather strong divisions. That's something I really have to look in someday, how the divisions work, or I know how they work, but what are the best templates, etc. So if you have any tips on that, please let me know, because I'm really interested in that. I'm not that good with that myself. Let's see, I believe it's this army. Now yeah, they're pretty much taking all of Denmark. Alright, everything came to a standstill, which will allow me time to gain more equipment. Ooh, let's get better artillery. And restock my troops with that. Well, working that way yet, but I hope soon. I don't see too many provinces where they have attrition or something, so... I guess at some point we should be able to really gain. Yep, they're still moving down. That's good. Well, these guys are doing their job right here. I should just go there. Come on. And pause. down here and then help him out. This guy should attack here so he can do a little pincher. But oh, I guess I'm not that good at this. <laughs> yeah, low manpower. I know, I know, I know. Well, those will be Armor divisions will be gone soon. Gaining equipment? Yes, very nice. Gaining equipment so they can all stop. Don't want more equipment yet. Although, I think those guys can give it a try. They can break through. That'll be really helpful. So they just need to go down there and we'll see. Interesting. Have to wait and see, but it looks okay. Let's go. Show me all your equipment. That's the thing as well. If we capitulate like Germany, ah, oh, they probably won't have much equipment left. So not much for us to gain. But sometimes there are nations you can actually get useful equipment from. Well, I think we made a lot of progress. Not particularly the way I had hoped, but, well, we did make progress. Right, they should stop. Oh, they are winning again. Appeared they weren't winning, so I thought they should stop, but if they are winning, we should continue. But, anyway, I was kind of thinking about wrapping up this episode. 
saying, well, it's all been nice, but that's it for now. I think these guys should help out here as well. Extra planes here. And will we get growing numbers from planes, which is very helpful. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up right now. As you can see, we really went into Germany, freed Denmark... And in the next episode, try and push even further and defeat the Germans. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed it. Please uh, leave any comment, uh, tips, tricks. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I don't know. Tell your friends about it. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.